YouTube, it's Erin, and I am the Handbag Housewife, and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be an unbagging, an epic unbagging of a Louis Vuitton that I would say has definitely made its way into the classics category for that brand. The popularity of this particular style seems to be unending. People love it. And in this particular combo, it seems to be pretty coveted as well. And I just happened to be lucky and find it for a steal on Fashion File. First, let me just get this out of the way. I'm still under the weather. I may sound a little off to you, and it's because I've got all sorts of congestion going on up here. But I wanted to get this video out to you because I have been dying to share this bag. So, like I said, the bag is from Fashion File. Fashion File has updated some of their policies recently, and I became aware of it because of Hello Catwalk City. I knew that their return window had went from, I think, 30 days down to 15 days, and I really wasn't all that worried about that. But one thing she brought to my attention, as well as one of my lovely subscribers down in the comment section of my last video regarding another unboxing from Fashion File, I'll link that down below. But one of my lovely subscribers, as well as Hello Catwalk City, brought to my attention that the return window it begins when the item is shipped. And if you consider that, your return window may be extremely short. That's because I think that that would start from the date that the tracking code is made, not necessarily when the item is picked up. It could get really technical if you're not too careful. Sometimes a tracking number is created like on a weekend, on a Sunday, but the item may not actually get picked up until Tuesday morning. And so you just need to watch that if you're buying an item from Fashion File so you don't miss the return window. And I think that surely they would work with you if your item got delayed for some reason and you didn't get it before your window was up. I mean, I know crazy things like that happen. Items get lost through UPS, through FedEx, through the post office. I think that they're using UPS right now, but you just certainly need to be aware of that return window. Now this item's return window has expired. I have used it. I haven't taken the tags off of it yet. I don't know why. I just, <laughs> I just left them on it and I haven't used it for a week or so. I guess I just wanted to cut the tags off with you. So Without further ado, let's unbox this bag or unbag this bag or double unbag this bag. Then I'm going to show you some straps that I have come up with to go with this beauty in addition to the strap that she came with. So first of all, we've got the Louis Vuitton bag and let's go ahead and reveal what's inside. This is my first I about said this is my first bicolor piece, but that's not true. I have the favorite new model in bicolor, but it's in the Tortorelle or Turtle Dove combo. This is in the black bicolor option, and it is the gorgeous, fabulous Pochette Matisse. Now, <laughs> you may remember many, many videos that I've done where I've shown you the Coach Cassie, my collection, how I decorated it, and then why I sold all of them. I currently have, I think, four Cassie 19s. Let me look. Yes, I have four Coach Cassie 19s, but at one time I had had like 20 Coach Cassies or Cassie 19s like together. I think I might have had 12 Cassies and eight Cassie 19s. It's been so long, I can't remember. But I loved both. I had a lot of the Coach Cassies. I decorated them with all sorts of chains and charms. And then I decided that this style bag just was maybe a bit too boxy for me. And so I sold them all. The last one to go was my Pochette Matisse that I had in the Empreinte leather in the Turtle Dove color. And I had a hard time letting that one go. And I know that's not a coach bag, but they're basically the same shape, right? I mean, you've got a briefcase style bag. The Cassie has a more rounded flap. The Pochette Matisse has this signature S lock and the Cassie has a turn lock. But the last one I let go was my Louis Vuitton and the Empreinte leather. 
long time ago before I had a channel, I had the reverse canvas version of the Pochette Matisse and I did sell that one too. So my track record for keeping Pochette Matisse bags is not good, but I got that bicolor favorite new model and I'll link that video down below. So if you haven't seen it, you can go check it out. And I just love this by color palette. And so I started thinking about the black and the cream and wondering what bag I would want to get in this combo. And I have tried on the Montaigne BB. I really liked that. I tried on the On The Go PM. I really liked that. But I do really enjoy a flap bag. And I think that the Montaigne BB with its handles and having to have that strap to hold the handles together if you want them to be upright or having to tuck them in if you don't want them upright, I think that would get on my nerves. And I seem to prefer if I'm going to have handles like that for them to be rigid or at least for the handles to flop down on the outside and have the bag be somewhat soft. And then the bicolor on the go. I mean, I liked it, but I'm not a huge tote bag person. In fact, I'm considering selling my Field to Tote 22 in the upwoven leather for that reason. I love my Marc Jacobs, the tote bag minis that I have, the two of them that I have, but I think that's the extent of what I want in a tote bag. So then that left me with less choices. I didn't want to get the same exact bicolor bag as I have. I didn't want to get the favorite in this palette as well as the Tortorell or Turtle Dove combo. And then I saw this one on Fashion File. And Fashion File had it for like $1,000 below retail. And Rebag had it for more than retail. Go figure. I felt like I had to try it one more time. So no guarantees this is going to be permanent in my collection, but I have found some really fun ways to dress it up with the straps I already have in my collection, and I plan on showing you those things today. First, though, I have some other things regarding the bag itself that's in my hand as it is to show you. The first thing I want to show you is that I have put on a sticker on this top part and the bottom part, when I received the bag from Fashion File, it still had the stickers attached, but they were peeling up. And so I knew I wasn't going to leave them. But before I wanted to use the bag, I wanted to get some protection on it. And Sarah from Cactus Friend Creatives sent me her hardware protectors, which are very good at covering as much surface area as possible. So you may notice that this bottom plate here is completely covered. Hers wrap around the top and the sides so you don't have any loose edges to catch. And there's also not like a big cutout around this particular piece or this particular piece. Now, when you very first put them on, you need to let it sit for a little bit. You may notice that I have just a tiny little bit of a imperfection right there. That's because I tried to open this before it really had a chance to settle. And I was able to fix that by just getting it pushed back down with a piece of dental floss that I ran basically under the edge here to get it to tuck back under. But now that it is really adhered on, this piece moves smoothly and it doesn't bother me enough that I wanna try to redo the sticker. But these stickers, they let your hardware shine so well and they cover so well. And with her Pochette Matisse hardware protectors, they are really easy to apply because they have these tearaway stickers. You can see right under the point there to your left of the S-lock closure, there is a rectangular strip both above and below where it covers the top part of the lock. And the same thing, there's this little tearaway strip right up here and then down on the other side where it covers the lock portion of the particular sticker. Those tearaway sheets make application so much easier and I was able to get these both on first try with very minimal imperfections. I mean, the lock looks amazing and it's gonna stay looking amazing because it has this 3M sticker to protect it from getting all scratched up. 
The bicolor on this bag, it's matched up really well. Like the pattern, if you look here and here, is matched up so nicely and the flap is so even. That was one thing that really stood out to me about this bag. I was very happy with all angles when I looked at this bag on Fashion File. And I don't know if you remember me talking about this a little bit ago when I talked about the glazing on the edge of my new Busey bag, how it's light in color and how that's more forgiving. I said sometimes when you get dark glazing on a light leather, it especially if the leather is pebbled, it'll look a little bit ripply and not be quite as straight of a line. And this is what I was talking about, where it's painted the lighter color. You can see the glazing isn't just a 100% straight line. And I think that's because the leather's pebbled and it goes in and out. So that's what I meant about light glazing versus dark glazing on lighter leather or painted leather. The one thing that I have heard can happen with the bicolor pieces is you can get a little bit of chipping on the paint. And this bag had like a couple of little tiny specks and I doubt you'll even be able to see them. There was one like microscopic speck over here of black that was poking through the paint. And I think there might've been one tiny one over here too somewhere, but I am willing to overlook that for a thousand dollars off retail and it may get worse and if it does then i'll cross that bridge when it comes to it but i do know of at least one other youtuber and that's candy with candy sweet love for lv who carried this bag a whole bunch and had no issue with chipping and so i'm gonna cross my fingers that that is my experience as well so let's look inside the bag i had some stuffing inside and like i said here are the tags I'm going to have to go grab some scissors because I can't return this bag anyway. But if you look inside, I did pick some beautiful Zumani organizers to go inside. And I wanted the cream color. Minx for All, I watched a video of hers a long time ago where she said that there was an interior of a Louis Vuitton bag that was red that got on some of her Damier Azure small leather goods and essentially made them pink. And so I wanted to get a light color that might coordinate with the exterior color of the bicolor. So that's why I picked this beautiful creamy color. And as you can see, it gives me some pockets. On the larger section, I've got one long pocket and two small pockets. The front part, it's really just a liner, and I like that because it keeps things from bulging on the outside of the bag. The inserts were provided to me complimentary by Zumani, and I do have a discount code for Zumani for 20% off. It's HBHW20, and I'll link that down in my description box along with their website. If you look further, I do have a base shaper, and this is from a different company called Have Deluxe. And I did want to show you this. I really like the base shapers from M Boutique Australia. And I have tried the ones from Have Deluxe before. And I have been very underwhelmed by them. But I saw they had a new like leather finish on them on their website. And so I decided to give it a try again just to see what they were like. And so I went ahead and pulled one out of my collage bag, and this is from M Boutique Australia. And I just wanna show you how the ends of these look. They're all sealed and it's a thicker material. They still have that pebbling of the leather-like surface, but the base shaper itself is a really nice girth. This one here in comparison is much thinner, and that may be something you like or you want, but for me, the major issue with this one versus the M Boutique Australia one is the way they finish the ends. It just looks like they duct taped and folded it versus really having it like heat sealed around the foam. I mean, I just think that the M Boutique Australia one is a lot nicer and the price on these is pretty much the same. That said, the color match on this is pretty much perfect with the Pochette Matisse. And I do really like Have Deluxe for a lot of their products. The charm that I showed you, which is part of the giveaway, that's from Have Deluxe. And I do have their hardware protectors on a lot of my bags. 
I prefer the ones from Cactus Run Creatives, but Sarah's business is a lot newer, and so she doesn't have as big of a variety of the hardware protectors as the Have Deluxe does. So I like both companies. With regards to the stickers that I have tried from Sarah for the Pochette Matisse, the Croiset, and the Favorite, I definitely prefer her stickers to Have Deluxe. But Have Deluxe does have excellent options for many, many bags, and I will continue to use them for those. So the Pochette Matisse comes with a crossbody strap, and this is it. I'm going to go ahead and try it on for you just as it comes. I think the reason why I have always wanted to sell my Coach Cassie's and my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse bags is because they're a little bit masculine. And the reason why I am thinking that this bag might work a little better for me is because the bicolor print stands out so much and it really gives it a feminine touch with the flowers. If you'll notice, there is a big LV in the middle. But other than that, it's all pretty. It's all flowers and you know, different types of flowers, three different types. And I just feel like that that is a beautiful feminine touch to this somewhat masculine shape. So here she is. I'm not dressed up. I feel not great. So this is all you get for today. But well, that's not true. I'm going to try another straps for you. But as far as my outfit goes, this is what I have on. And so this is what you get. But I think that this looks really cute just as she comes. But just wait, I've got some better options. The first option I'm going to show you is this web strap. I really love this strap with my balone bag or my baloney bag, as I like to call her. And I thought of this strap immediately whenever I did pick up this pochette Matisse. And so let's go ahead and give this a try. When I did try it on, I figured out that this strap's a little shorter than I had even anticipated. So I'm gonna put it on almost the longest length. And as you can see, I think the bag's a little short with this thick strap. So it's okay, it's really comfortable, but I'm not loving it at this length. But never fear, I have two more straps to show you. The first one is from my Alma BB. And this one, it's like Goldilocks and the three bears trying to find the right porridge, trying to find the right bed. I think this one's just right. And let me tell you why. First of all, it doesn't have any buckles to poke me. It's not adjustable, which is a negative for a lot of folks. But for me, this one works. The second is that it's wider in the middle than it is on the ends. And I think that that really gives you a feminine line for a pretty square bag. So I really, 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 really like this combo where it gets wider up at the top and it gets narrower down by the bag. I think that that's really elegant. But before I stop, let me show you how to make it even more elegant. You all may remember I picked up this strap on the secondhand market. It's from the Multi Pochette Accessoire, which I don't have, but I picked this up from a Facebook reseller from a Louis Vuitton group. And then I had it authenticated just to make sure it's the real deal, which it is. And I think that that just completes this look. I have one more look to show you, but this is my favorite. So you'll have to let me know which way you prefer it. Do you like the original look, this look, or the next one best? With this beautiful strap, I could also just carry it by the top handle and then whip it over my shoulder. It definitely works like that as well. And it's pretty comfortable, but I don't know that I'd wear it that way for like a long, long time. So this is the snappy strap from my balone bag. And I thought I would give this a shot. It's a lot like the strap that comes with the pochette, with the multi-pochette accessoire. And I think you're going to like this as well. It makes this bag an extremely comfortable shoulder bag. And I have found that the medium length, which is the long shoulder option, is the one that works the best. You may say, Erin, why are you showing me all these straps that I can't buy from Louis Vuitton? Well, you can pick these up on the resale market. People sell them to rebag. People sell them to fashion file. A lot of people don't like these snappy straps. And so if you want to create this look for your pochette Matisse, you can pick these up. They are available. And same thing with these chains. But I would just say make sure you authenticate, especially the chain. Well, especially both of them. You want to make sure you authenticate the straps and make sure you're buying the real deal, especially if you pay the kind of money that they go for. So here it is on the shoulder, long shoulder option with the chain dangling. 
I wore it like this for several days. It's very comfortable. You can always pop it even longer and do a crossbody look, but if I'm gonna do that, I really do prefer the Alma BB strap because it's just much more comfortable. But the good thing about the snappy straps, even though they do hurt my collarbone, they may not hurt everybody, but you can do this real quick if you need to. You can see how short that is though, so it may not work for everybody. I really prefer that middle length for the long shoulder for this bag, the very best. So this is more ceremonial than anything because I can't return this bag with their new return window anyway, but here we go. Now it's mine for real because I can't come up with any reason to return it now that that tag is gone. Once that tag is cut off, it doesn't matter how long the window is, it's yours. And so I doubly get to keep this beauty, but that's okay because I love her and I love her hardware protectors from Cactus Run Creatives. I love the inserts from Zumani. I love the strap options I have, including this one that I picked up on the secondhand market. So I hope you've enjoyed this unbagging from Fashion File. And if you did, I would ask you, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at the handbag housewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.